Tennessee's attention turns to a missing teenage boy after the discovery of a missing college student's body. Welcome again to News 2 at 5. I'm Kenley Hargett. With the body of 22-year-old Riley Strain being recovered from the Cumberland River, the United Cajun Navy says they're now shifting their search efforts about 25 miles away to Sumner County in hopes of locating Sebastian Rogers. That's where we find News 2's Nikki McGee. Nikki, what do those efforts look like right now? Well, Kinley, as we head into week four of the search, I can tell you this is a much different scene than it was just a few weeks ago. I'm here along Long Hollow Pike, and if you can see this new shackle fire department right behind me, that's where a lot of these efforts were focused just a few weeks ago. We saw hundreds of volunteers out here as well as law enforcement looking for Sebastian, but right now I am here in the front yard of his high school. This is Beach High School, and you can see signs like this right to the side of me reminding folks not to give up hope in this search volunteer effort efforts are already on the ground for Riley Strain and right now they're going to be diverted here to Sumner County to help search for Sebastian. Saturday, the United Cajun Navy confirmed at least part of their crews would stay here on the ground in Middle Tennessee. We're told that came at the request of Sebastian's father, Seth Rogers. Now today I did speak with a representative from the United Cajun Navy. He says canines and drones have been deployed to help help to help with this search. However, he couldn't share exactly where those efforts were being focused. Here's what one incident commander had to say about the search for Sebastian earlier this weekend. First and foremost, we'd like to see Sebastian found safe and sound. You know, that's I think everybody's hoping. That's always our hope is to find, you know, what, <clears throat> regardless of what uh, the evidence and circumstances might point to, to the contrary, our hope. And we always hold on to that hope until until we find out we can't anymore, that that person will be found safe and sound, returned to their family. Um, so that's always our hope. Now, Sebastian was last seen on Stafford Court. That's just a few streets behind me. And remember, if you have any information on where he might be, you're asked to reach out to the Sumner County Sheriff's Office or you can call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Reporting live in Sumner County, Nikki McGee, News 2. Thank you so much, Nikki. And to keep up with the latest developments surrounding Sebastian Rogers, you can head to our website at WKRN.com.